The Disney Cruise Line is amazing in so many ways. One of my new favorite Disney adventures, not taking away from Walt Disney World, Disneyland, or other Disney adventures, don't wanna take away from those, but it is fantastic in so many ways. But a very common question that I've gotten from friends, how does Disney accommodate those with disabilities on board the Disney Cruise Line? Now, I've done a tremendous amount of homework to give you as much information as possible about disabilities on board the Disney Cruise Line. That being said, no one in my family has a permanent disability. Disability. So I'm trying to capture as much information without experiencing it firsthand. That being said, during our first Disney cruise ever with my family, my grandmother did spend a significant amount of time in her wheelchair. So we got to see some of those accommodations while we were there. Let's start first with the staterooms, and every single Disney cruise ship has a certain number of wheelchair accessible staterooms. These special staterooms have been designed specifically for guests in wheelchairs to make it as accommodating as possible. The features of these special staterooms include ramped bathroom thresholds, open bed frames, additional phones in the bathroom and on the nightstand, bathroom and shower handrails, fold-down shower seats, handheld shower heads, lowered towel and closet bars, emergency call buttons, and stateroom communication kits. The stateroom communication kits include a door knock and phone alert, phone amplifier, bed shaker notification, a strobe light smoke detector, and a text typewriter. All of these features will no doubt help those with disabilities on their cruise adventure. Now that's inside the stateroom, but what about areas outside the stateroom? All of the Disney cruise ships have elevators to every deck and there are ramps to get to those elevators so you don't have to go over a bump every time. Disney also has a special section in the Walt Disney Theater for those with disabilities and they've made it even easier by giving those with disabilities special access to kind of go around the crowds and make it to their seats without having to go through the main entrance. My grandmother got a chance to experience this firsthand. In addition to a special section for those who are in wheelchairs, Disney also has a special section for those who are deaf or hard of hearing. And we saw on our Marvel Day at Sea a set of interpreters at every single event, from Wave Away to all of the shows in the Walt Disney Theater, all the way to see again real soon. Now, if you have a disabled child in your traveling party and they can't meet those qualifications for the Oceaneer Club or Oceaneer Lab or another kids club, Disney can accommodate them with special programming just for them. If you're looking to take advantage of this modified programming, be sure to call the special reservations coordinator before your sailing as early as possible so they can set up something depending on the needs of your child. In my research for this video, I found two pieces of advice that may help you if you have someone in your traveling party who has disabilities. One piece of advice that I heard from a mom who has a child with disabilities is that for breakfast time, instead of bringing the child through cabanas where it's very ruckusy and noisy and would disturb the child, she would take the child to deck 10, leave the child with other members of the traveling party, get breakfast for the child from cabanas, and then bring it up to deck 10 where there are tables already set up. The other piece of advice that I found, be sure to use room service if you need it. It's there for you. It's included with the price of your cruise minus the tip. It's 24 hours a day and they can bring you whatever you need. Now those are a few of the accommodations and several tips that I've heard from those who have disabilities while on board the Disney cruise ship. But what about Disney's private island, Castaway Key? It's accessible in many ways. If you've been to Castaway Key before, as you get off the tram at the first stop, you may have noticed that there are these special wheelchairs with very large wheels. These wheelchairs are specifically meant to be pushed on the sand. The island itself is very accessible with very few stairs anywhere and wide openings between doors and different pathways, you can go just about anywhere. Disney is well known for going above and beyond to make sure that you have every accommodation possible to ensure that your trip is magical. If you're looking for more information about accommodations for those with disabilities on board the Disney Cruise Line, I'm going to link more information in the description of this video. I sure hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you've been on board before and seen any of Disney's accommodations in action and would like to share your story, don't be afraid to do so in the comments below. I know there are many guests with questions who would love to know more. Thank you so much for being a part of the magic with me. Until next time, have a magical day.